second video about how to play melodic blues licks and lines met Sophie Robin Ford style. In this video uh, focus will be on a slightly different uh, major pentatonic scale uh, and this new scale is a real gem of the scale uh, especially if you're interested in melodic blues licks and lines and if you're interested in blues playing like players like Robin Ford, Matt Schofield Larry Carter and Jess Smith, they play. It's, it's a kind of a must to learn this scale also, because you can use it all over the blues. Uh, and now in this new video, we are in the key of uh, B flat. And uh, if I take a, you have the three chords of the blues and B flat would be the one chord would be a, a B flat uh, seven, like I play here. The, the four chord would be an E flat, in this case, an E flat 9, and the 5 chord would be an F. Okay, that, that, these are the three chords in, in B flat major. Okay, and this new scale is actually quite easy to, uh, to learn because you just basically take the minor third from the minor pentatonic scale and you raise it to a major third. Okay, let us take the minor third at first. I'm sure you're familiar with that one. That's that's a minor pentatonic scale in its first form. It's the sixth fret. You start playing here, and uh, the whole thing is that now you just simply you raise the minor third up to a major third, and that would be a D. continue instead of playing I play so you have this nice and melodic sounding uh, scale and it sounds totally different as a minor pentatonic scale much more melodic and the only thing you did is that you raised the, the minor third to a major third interesting <laughs> um, and uh, you can change or you have to change with with the with the chords using this scale you cannot just as as with the major pentatonic scale you can actually start you can stay in this first form uh, being the major uh, b flat major uh, pentatonic scale you can you can actually stay in that one all of through the three chords of the blues. But when you play this new one, this new uh, pentatonic flat, uh, major pentatonic flat seventh, you have to change with the chords. So you have to be melodic and change some other specific chords. So let us try to do that. Over the one chord, as said, you play. <laughs> Okay, 
when you come to the four chord, you could of course move up here and play the same thing up here. We have the next chord is an E flat. Okay, and you find the E flat up here, and you basically do, do exactly the same thing. But in a playing situation, you would move like that. So instead of playing it up here, you play this scale down in this particular uh, area of the fretboard. And this is very important to learn if you want to be able to change with the chords without moving like this. It sounds terrible if you have to move like that. So you have to learn to play or the whole thing down in this area. And this is a challenge as a, to a, as a beginning, but uh, once you, you get familiar with it, it's actually quite easy to use. You just have to practice to make your whole work. <laughs> and then, uh, okay, uh, the next uh, one would be where we want to play this uh, E flat major. We, instead of playing it up here, we try to play it down in this particular area fretboard and it will sound like this I hope you can hear how melodic it is it's a great scale you can use it so much if and uh, the last, uh, the last chord is the F chord, it's a 5 chord, and again you can move up here. But again we try to play it or down in this area of the fretboard. scales uh, close on and the first one uh, is uh, here in the sixth fret you play and uh, I start on the sixth fret uh, the sixth string moving up to the D which is a raised for, uh, the major third I go on here, the 6th fret, 8th fret, 6th fret, 8th fret. So the, here we have the 6th fret, the 10th fret, the 6th fret, the 8th fret, the 6th fret, and the 8th fret. So I start again here on the 8th fret. Here with a second finger to the seventh fret, third string. I go on up to the eighth fret, third string, and I okay. I move on to the uh, uh, sixth fret, second string. So until now we have, and I move up to the ninth fret. And I end at the root. So I try to play that real slow. Okay, that was the B flat. B flat uh, major flat seventh uh, 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 scale. So now we want to play an E flat major uh, flat seventh uh, pentatonic scale. And instead of playing it up here, we play it down here in that particular area of the fretboard. Okay, you start on the E flat here with my with your second finger. 6th fret, 5th string. You continue 5th fret, 
6th fret, 8th uh, fret, 6th fret, 8th fret. And again you start on this one, or the octave or the root again, and then you put your third finger down, so you hit the 2nd string afterwards. At first 8th fret, the 3rd string, 8th fret, the 2nd string, you move up here to the 9th fret, uh, and 6th fret, 9th fret, and you end up at the E flat here uh, in the 11th, 11th fret. So we have, we have, I try to play that real slow. Okay, and now we go through the last one. Uh, we, instead of playing it up here, we if if you play it in F up here. Play it down here. Okay, the way I do that is I start on the eighth fret, uh, the fifth string with my fourth finger now. And I continue down in the seventh fret. Uh, the fourth string. Then I go to the eighth fret, the fourth finger. Okay, until now we have. And you continue here in the fifth fret, third string. And the eighth fret, fourth finger. And you end up here with your. Actually, I will use this one because I have to, to continue up. So, so I end and at the sixth fret, uh, the second string with my second finger. Okay, and I continue again. I start here on the octave or the root up to the sixth fret, uh, eighth fret. 11th fret, and I end up on the F up here in the 13th fret, so it would sound like this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank you.